Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing to know that we can refocus. We can refocus and we can do it by the way of being renewed in our mind. What a powerful, powerful, powerful revelation that is for you and I. And we are so grateful. We are so thankful. We are so blessed that you all are here with us today at the Ark of the Covenant Ministry number two, going through the Bible in 10. A 10 minute devotional that goes line by line, verse by verse, word by word through the word of God. And we do this to edify, we do this to encourage, we do this to inspire, to bring substance in times of backbiting, backstabbing, lying upon, in the times of pitfall, in the times of attack, in the times of spiritual warfare, in the times of confusion and disturbance, in the times of being pushed around, in in the times of sickness, in the times of lack, we do this because God has called us unto this ministry. And we are so grateful and so thankful for him calling us. And we want you all to be a part of this ministry by the way of sharing the videos. Share them with your family, your friends, your loved ones. Share them with those that's going through. Share them with those that you're praying for. Share them with those that you're witnessing to in hospitals, nursing homes, residential care, your small group, your church family, those that you ride the bus with, those that you transport around. Listen, share, share, share the videos. And we want you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the ARK, A-R-K, of O-F, the, T-H-E, Covenant, C-O-V-E-N-A-N-T, Ministry, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y, the number two, and you'll see our symbol that says, being an instrument used by God to reach those that cannot reach up. And we want you to go through the different types of videos that's there. It's all types. There's Bible studies, mental and physical workout, story prayer and story time, a collaboration that me and my wife did. Listen, the Covenant Seekers Detective game is there. Even the series we're going through now as we're going through the book of Ephesians, we done done chapter one entitled Understanding and Understanding Part Two, chapter two entitled Grace, chapter three entitled Strength by Growth, and chapter four verses one through 15 entitled One Fitly Join, and this Sunday we be doing one fitly joined part two chapter four verses 16 to 32 Ephesians we gonna be there so come on with us at 11 o'clock and 12 30 on YouTube come on and join us and let's hear what thus says the Lord all right we want we want to thank you all for praying for us as we continue to pray for you. We are so grateful that you all have put us under the blood of Jesus Christ, has called down the spirit of the Lord. And we see God's healing hand upon our family and we just rejoicing in it and we're so grateful. And we're going to continue to pray for you all. All right, get your Bibles, get your pen and paper. Get get all that great stuff you got to get. All right. And we want to invite you all to the Ark of the Covenant Ministry, number two, going through the Bible in 10. Genesis chapter 8, verse number 3. And the waters returned from off the earth continually. And after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters were abate. 
the waters continued to return off the earth. And after a hundred and fifty days, the water abased. Now what a powerful, powerful, powerful verse that is. Now we're going to spend three minutes in interpretation, three minutes in revelation, three minutes in application, and one minute to wrap it all up. What a powerful verse. The Bible says that the waters return, that the waters start di di dissipating upon the face of the earth. And the waters did it at completed it by a certain time frame. Within those 150 days, now God had the ability to snap his finger and stop it right there. God had the ability to make the water disappear right there. Then and there, in one moment, one second, one millimeter, one blink of an eye, God could have took every drop of water and got rid of it just like that. But God took Noah through a process. God took Noah through a way, a situation and circumstance. And Noah was so in tune with God that Noah allowed God to guide him through the process. Notice that Noah is not doing anything. Noah is just holding on to God's unchanging hand and doing his part. And he allowing God to do his part. Listen, sometimes we can get caught up in situations and circumstances that we think we need to help God that we think we need to give God a helping hand or extra boost or a little bit of our knowledge or a little bit of the way that we would like it to be done. But listen, God is the starter and the finisher. God is the one that can change a whole outlook. He can change a whole difference. He can change a whole movement, but he's going to do it when? In his time, not in ours. He's going to do it how? By his will. He's going to do it when he gets ready. <laughs> Listen, we have to hold on to our un God's unchanging hand and we got to continue to do our part. What happens people here always hear, listen, pray about it, pray about it, and you go to praying about it and nothing happens. You go to praying about it and you don't feel no no different. You go to praying about it and the situation looks the same. The Bible says that Paul prayed three times because he had something that was afflicting him, something that was causing him trouble. Listen, Paul said he prayed three times and God responded and told him that his grace is sufficient. So should we only pray three times? The Bible said that Elijah prayed for rain. And he kept praying. And on the seventh time, the Bible says that the servant come back and saw a cloud. So should we only pray seven times? Listen, the Bible just said that Noah was in that boat as God returned the waters back for a hundred years and 50 days. What a powerful thing. Because here is the beautiful inside look. We pray until we receive an answer. We pray until God brings forth what God has called forth. We pray that God's will be done. Because see, a lot of times it's not what we want, it's what God is going to do. Let us peel back the layers to this powerful verse as we look in the spiritual realm and see what God has to say. The Bible says that it's in Genesis chapter 8 and 8 means a new beginning and the third verse, the third, the number 3 means past 
present and future all come together in the man Christ Jesus. So we have a new beginning in the man Christ Jesus and the Bible says that the waters return. We have a new beginning in the man Christ Jesus as we go through our journey and God is in control. God is in control because we are at our new beginning in the man Christ Jesus and God is in control and the Bible says that at the end of 150 days, in other words, at the end of the new focus where we can have a new focus that we bring forth a new manifestation that God has placed in us. In other words, God wants us to learn through this truth. <laughs> trial that we can bring forth something new. We can bring forth something uh, better. We can bring forth a deeper love for Christ. We can bring forth a deeper relationship with God. We can bring forth a um, more pure, in other words, a more sanctified walk with Christ. You see, God wants us to have a new focus through the situation and circumstance. That's what 150 means, a new focus. He's given us a way to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now, how do we do this in our day-to-day -day activity? How do we do this through our situations and circumstances. Listen, if we stay focused on the unseen and continue to walk in the unseen and ask God to show us what he wants to do with us in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the situation or circumstances. You see, you don't need to make a New Year's resolution. What you need to make is a declaration unto God on a daily basis. Ask God, what do you want from me to Day. What do you want to, for me to do today? What do you want? Where do you want me to go? Who do you want me to speak to today? And when we do that, we have a new focus on our daily walk. We have a new focus on what God is trying to do. We have a new focus on manifestation of what God has within us. Our love should be growing forth unto God's people. Remember that we have a new beginning in the man Christ Jesus and God is in control and he want us to bring forth a new focus, a new love, a deeper love for Christ, a deeper look into the word of God. God want us to bring forth the light of Jesus Christ. What a powerful, powerful revelation that is. Maybe it's someone here that's been so caught up, so beat up, so knocked down that they are crying out right now unto the Lord. Maybe it's somebody here right now have never had an opportunity to meet the man Christ Jesus. Maybe it's somebody here that has backslid and, and ready to come back unto the Lord. We can take care of all of that right now. The Bible says if you repent, turn from your ways and turn to the ways of Christ Jesus. If we take it by faith and believe in the virgin birth, the life of Jesus Christ, the death of Christ, and the resurrection on the third day, and that he ascended up on high and sitting at the right hand of the Father, making prayers for you and I as we as he is waiting for his triumphant return unto gathering his church. Listen, if you can take it by faith and believe and repent, turn from your ways and turn to the ways of Christ Jesus and cry out unto the Lord, dear Lord, I am a sinner and I know I've sinned against you. Father God, I'm crying out for your forgiveness as I repent, Father God, and turn toward you. Jesus Christ saved my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. And then get you a Bible and start studying and reading that Bible. Then let the Lord lead you to a sin-hating Bible-preaching church. And when you get there, make a 
confession. Make a public confession of your salvation by the way of baptism. Then I want you to start walking in the newness of your life, becoming that new creature that God has created you to be. And we want you to do it in through Jesus Christ, through the word of God. And we want you to know that God is in charge. And as he's being in charge constantly, ask the Lord for your manifestation of God's love toward the people. That God's manifestation of what God wants you to do in the kingdom of God. That manifestation of you becoming sanctified as you becoming glory to glory to glory. What a powerful thing. Well, we're so grateful and thankful for you all. And we, as we always say, listen, share the videos. We want you to share them with all that you come across, all that you meet, all that you talk to. Listen, share them with all of your family, your friends, your loved ones, and your enemies. Share, share, share the videos. And we want you to Subscribe to our YouTube channel at the ARK, A-R-K, of O-F, the T-H-E, Covenant, C-O-V-E-N, A-N-T, Ministry, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y, the number two, and you'll see our symbol right here that says, being an instrument used by God to reach those that cannot reach up. And then, listen, go through the video, leave us a comment, hit that notification bell, and remember, hit that like button, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as well as subscribe and share well we're grateful for you all and we're going to be praying for you as you continue to pray for us father god we're so grateful and thankful lord we love you and lord we thank you for a new beginning Lord, we thank you for a new focus in life. Lord, we thank you for a new direction in life as you lead the way. Lord, as you make the way. Lord, as you send us that way. We're so grateful and thankful. Lord, we lay down our burdens and we lift you up. And Lord, we say hallelujah to the Lamb of the living God. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do we. Bye-bye now.